Part 1, Chapter 23 of Introduction to the Devout Life. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Isaacson. Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales. Part 1, Chapter 23. It is needful to put away all inclination for useless and dangerous things. Sports, balls, plays, festivities, pomps, are not in themselves evil, but rather indifferent matters capable of being used for good or ill. But nevertheless they are dangerous, and it is still more dangerous to take great delight in them. Therefore, my daughter, I say that although it is lawful to amuse yourself, to dance, dress, feast, and see seemly plays, at the same time, if you are much addicted to these things, they will hinder your devotion and become extremely hurtful and dangerous to you. The harm lies not in doing them, but in the degree to which you care for them. It is a pity to sow the seed of vain and foolish tastes in the soil of your heart, taking up the place of better things, and hindering the soul from cultivating good dispositions. It was thus that the Nazarites of old abstained not merely from all intoxicating liquors, but from grapes fresh or dried, and from vinegar, not because these were intoxicating, but because they might excite the desire for fermented liquors. Just so, while I do not forbid the use of these dangerous pleasures, I say that you cannot take an excessive delight in them without their telling upon your devotion. When the stag has waxed fat, he hides himself amid the thicket, conscious that his fleetness is impaired should he be in need to fly. And so the human heart, which is cumbered with useless, superfluous, dangerous clingings, becomes incapacitated for that earnest following after God, which is the true life of devotion. No one blames children for running after butterflies, because they are children. But is it not ridiculous and pitiful to see full-grown men eager about such worthless trifles as the worldly amusements before named, which are likely to throw them off their balance and disturb their spiritual life? Therefore, dear child, I would have you cleanse your heart from all such tastes, remembering that while the acts themselves are not necessarily incompatible with a devout life, all delight in them must be harmful. End of Part 1, Chapter 23 Recording by Sam Isaacson.